Hi, I'm Sean Michael Reagan, and this is Cool Tools. From the primordial bone club to this amazing rock sampling tool used on the moon by the Apollo 11 astronauts, there is an astonishing variety of hammers in the world, especially considering what a simple tool it is. A small sampling of my personal collection includes a carpenter's hammer, a ball peen hammer, a tack hammer, a welder's hammer, a brass hammer, a lead hammer, and a rubber hammer, which is technically a mallet because it has a much larger head than these others. Almost half of these I keep around because of their non-marring properties. If I've got to hammer on a piece of hard steel but I don't want to damage it, I'd probably use brass. For soft steel, aluminum, or brass itself, I'd probably use lead. For wood or plastic, the rubber mallet. They're pretty much essential for doing professional work, but they do take up a lot of space in the toolbox. Which is why this is my new favorite thing. This is a 2 pound or 900 gram, 1.5 inch or 38 millimeter split head hammer manufactured by a British company called, awesomely, Thor. I bought this one from their US distributor Vaughn, and though it is exactly the same hammer, it has their sticker on the handle instead of the, in my opinion, vastly cooler Thor sticker. Anyway, why is this hammer so great? Because it's really a completely modular hammer system, which I realize it sounds a bit overblown, but if we'll grab an Allen wrench and remove these big socket cap screws here, you'll see how cleverly it's designed. The two halves of the split head are identical pieces of cast iron, and they're the only parts of this hammer that can't be easily replaced or quickly swapped out to reconfigure it for a different purpose. Obviously, you're mostly going to be changing out faces, but this design also makes it super easy to replace or reconfigure the handle. They even use hex nuts on this side instead of a threaded casting, so you can easily replace either the male or female threads if they get gummed up. Now, mine came with these two rolled rawhide faces, but if you don't want rawhide for whatever reason, you can also buy it with faces made of nylon or ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. And because these inserts are just little cylinders of material, it's quite easy to make your own, especially if you have access to a lathe. Here's an aluminum face I made in about 10 minutes. And the one on this side is polypropylene. And, because I can't resist getting in on the meme, here's one made of cake. This side's got icing. And this one's fondant. I just don't get fondant. Fortunately, you can now buy this hammer through Amazon, and at least at the time of production, they're asking just 40 bucks, including shipping, which is a great price. I paid a bit more than twice that when I bought this one last year, and I didn't even get the Sweet Thor sticker on the handle. Okay, thank you for watching. As always, you'll find affiliate links down below the video. If you've seen something here you like, please do check those out, as well as our blog and our podcast over at cool-tools.org. We'll see you next time.